What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Montreal Glycast Cafe, and we've got some pretty, pretty cool stuff to look at. Like I said, uh, my last video, that I've got a couple of uh, awesome, awesome cars to look at, and I got some very special cars to look at too. And we are definitely gonna crack it all open. It's gonna be a bit of a video that you don't really see everywhere because we are gonna open up some pretty pretty awesome things and some pretty rare things as well so uh and i did manage to cross off another grail car off my list uh so uh we will open up that one too uh but let's start off with what i got we've got from the old boulevard this gorgeous 68 old 442 in this teal color <coughs> sorry about that <clears throat> And this is from the old Boulevard series, guys, uh, from 2011 or 2012. It says 2011, but anyway, we're figuring around probably around 2012. Then we got another Boulevard that we're crossing off the list, which I'm pretty excited about as well. And it is the custom V8 Vega. Very, very cool. And another Boulevard we are going to cross off the list. The Corvette C8R. So that's three boulevards that I'm crossing off the list, and I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, that's those. Then we've got an Ultra Hots 56 or 57. It says Chevy Bel Air. Does look a lot like the uh, 57, but it is the Ultra Hots uh, version and looks gorgeous in this color. We are cracking her open. We're cracking everything open. That's the whole best part about this. From the 100% Hot Wheels line, we have the 63 Stingray, number four of four of the uh, Chevrolet series, or the best of Corvette. <coughs> oh, sorry about this cough, guys. I do have a bit of a cough. Um, my sons were sick uh, last week, but... I don't think I'm catching the cold, but I do have a bit of a cough. So anyways, you guys are going to have to live through that. Sorry about it. Next, we do have mailaways. I've got some older mailaways that I'm going to also cross off the list. Hopefully, we'll come closer to finishing off uh, my mailaway collection, which I'm still pretty far from, but I've got a couple of sets finished. So we do have this guy here, the 64 GMC panel. Very cool. Number two of the 2015. Then we have the 57 Chevy Bel Air in Zamac from the 2015 uh, collection as well. That gives me four from this series that I have. I'm going to find out if there's six or five. Some of them have five. Some of them have six. Then, on top of that, like I said, we have convention pieces. And we are going to open this guy from last year's convention. Finally got my hands on this one. The custom 1970 Chevy Nova. Awesome. From the 20, actually 22, 2022 convention. So it's two years I'm waiting on that one. And it is number 2206 of 4000. Very cool. And we are opening this guy. What was this? Los Angeles. Right. From this year's convention, we are going to open up this guy. 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. One of three. And this was the Atlanta convention. And this is number 2120 of 6200. Pretty cool. And then... From RLC, we do have the club exclusive car, the Kawabaga, with the button and patch. And then, one of my Grail cars. We have from the Real Rider series, the 70 Plymouth Superbird. I've been wanting this one for a long time. Finally found it at a good price. And this is number 4860 of 11,000. So very excited about these guys. We've got a very, very awesome premium lineup to crack open. So let's set up that trusty turntable and let's dig right in. So here we are, everybody. Let us start off with some, you know what? We're going to start off with this bad boy right here, okay? 
from the 100% Hot Wheels lineup, we have the 63 Stingray Corvette. And looking really sweet. I'll be honest with you. Love this lineup. And I've told you guys a million times I love this lineup. And it just... Each car surprises me every time. They get nicer, nicer. Uh, just an amazing, amazing lineup, guys. Anyways. This is from... I'll put her on the turntable, this sweet piece. Okay, first of all, guys. Okay. It is... This one here has a plastic base, which is actually, this one is really, really strangely done. It looks like it's done in many pieces. This white part here is part of the metal body. These bumpers are part of the interior, which is really, really weirdly done. The interior tucks into the metal and then comes out as bumpers. And here too, it tucks into the metal. And comes out of the back as bumpers. So this is really awesomely done, this car. Really beautifully done. That's quite a surprise. It's sitting on real riders, of course. And uh, there's uh, the tampo in the front. Looking pretty sweet. Honestly, this... Love the deco on it. Love the colors. And wow, as I said, this was released in 2002, guys, this series, okay? So it's a, quite, a, quite a bit of an older series, 22 years. And still just gorgeously done. Hot Wheels did an amazing job on these, these cars back in these days. Some of them had metal bases, some of them had uh, plastic bases, depending on the year. But wow, look at that, just beautifully, beautiful. Coast Corvette. Okay, the next one is the Ultra Hots we are cracking open. And it is the Chevy Bel Air. It doesn't say what year. Um, maybe on the base it'll say it. But I don't know that. We'll crack it open and see. Uh, you guys did see the card uh, when I first showed it. So, and this guy... The entire line of Ultra Hot for 2005. Okay, right. So 20, 2005 this guy was released. Cracker open. And the Ultra Hots, normally they do come with this mirror. Okay, this mirror back. Which is pretty cool. And a lot of the time they do have moving parts as well. But these were real, extremely premium Hot Wheels back in the days because uh, they did come with metal base, rubber tires, beautiful, beautiful paint, crisp detail, and opening parts. Most of the time they had an opening hood. And this one is definitely no different. A little bit hard to open since they don't open them much back from the years. A little bit hard to open, but it does open. And extremely solid pieces. Very heavy and really, really solid. But what a gorgeous looking car. Gorgeous looking paint on this. And extremely solid. Metal bumpers, all part of the base. Beautiful white interior. At least they didn't put a chrome interior or anything, you see. So they do them really, really to detail. <coughs> now, if that's, not a, if that's not your cup of tea, guys, <clears throat> well, maybe the old boulevard's your cup of teas. So, if the old boulevard is your cup of tea, well then, let's get into this guy. We've got the custom V8 Vega. Now, this one, obviously, I have to cut because I do want to keep the letters for when I enter it into the computer. Because I am keeping track of what I have and what I need to complete series. 
And I'll be honest with you guys, there's some series that are extremely hard to complete. And here she, oh, what a beautiful piece. I love the Boulevard sets too, guys. Really love the Boulevard sets. Full metal, body, base, big, huge, thick rubber tires. This one got the red line treatment. Awesome looking mags on this car. Beautiful metallic flake silver. I mean, this car is sweet. That just looks amazing. And by the way, on the bottom of this Chevy, does it say the year? 57, I was right. It is a 57 Chevy, by the way, this one, guys. Okay? But you knew that. Of course you did. And how sweet is that Vega? I mean, metal on metal. Look at that. Bumpers are all metal, chromed out. I mean, this is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. What an awesome set this was to the Boulevard. The next two are also just as stunning, I imagine. And we'll just see about that because we're going to crack open this 68 old 442 in teal. And I believe most of these are from the same uh, year. If they're not, they're from 2011 or 2012. The Vega, well, I didn't actually see the year on the Vega, so... This Olds is from 2011. And oh, she's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's, well, I guess it's a bit period correct. They did put the large tire on the back and the small one in the front. But you do have the white interior, which is awesome. And the Vega is also from 2011, guys. Okay, so I think the only one's 2012 is the... Um, Corvette here, yeah. Corvette's uh, from 2012. Anyways, this teal Olds 442 is pretty sweet. It is the older casting, so it is bulkier. They did make... Actually, the older, older casting was actually smaller. So I think they revamped this casting into this one here. So what they need to do is update this casting, I believe. Which would be pretty good, I think. This casting here is definitely due for an upgrade. Same size wheels all around, lowered, you know. But, anyways, we're not going to talk about what they could be. We're going to talk about what it is. And this one, with the white interior, the white roof, white stripes on the teal body, is sweet. Just sweet. Now, I do see a little bit of an error. They did paint the front grille all blue. And that, in my books, is a bit of a no-no. Should have left the chrome. I don't imagine this car with blue headlights. But anyway, can't be too picky. Still looks gorgeous. Okay, and we, as we said, the last one out of this boulevard series that I picked up is the Corvette C8R, C6R, sorry, and another protector pack going to waste, and you know what, I'll open it first, so you guys don't stare at a blank screen, This one's going to be a beauty, too. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know why I never picked up this one a long time ago. I mean, I've always hesitated, and I don't understand why. Because she is sweet. And once again, we do have metal base, metal body, and extremely, extremely heavy. But really, a beautifully done casting, this one. It isn't a matte silver, or not even, well, not even. No, it's like a matte gray Goodyear tires matching rims to the stripes I mean that's, that's pretty cool looking that is really cool looking actually didn't paint the rear lights though bit of a surprise it is a, it is a premium car so a little bit surprised on that 
But we did get the front done. Still awesome. Still really awesome. Really, really well done. Does have the air duct done in the front. Really, really nicely done. Beautiful looking car. Okay, what's next? Should we get into the expensive ones or should we? Nah, you know what? We're going to wait. Let's dig into the mail-aways, guys. Let's check out these bad boys. Now, as you can see, these mail-aways are from 2015. Quite a hike back. And uh, as I said, I almost finished this set. I'm missing probably one. It depends. If it goes to six or five, I have to check. But even though I'm still going to be missing one, which is what? This is number two, number five. Number one and four. So I'm missing three. I'm missing three, and I'll be missing six if there is a six. Not too sure, though. Anyway, this one here, number five, is the 57 Chevy Bel Air. And as you can see, it is another Chevy Bel Air that we are adding to the collection today. One from the 100% Hot Wheels lineup, and one from the Mail Away lineup. But this one's pretty cool. It is in Zamac, which is pretty awesome. I like when they do that. Most mail always do do that. They have a, they throw in Zamac. This one does not have the opening hood. So this is the revamped casting of it. But she is still solid metal on metal. And that is pretty sweet. Red line tires on chrome dog dish. Awesome. Well, actually, not dog dish. They're full chrome mags. Did put a little red dots for the lights on the back. Very cool. And then the second one from this set is the GMC 64 GMC panel band. And, wow, this one's nice. I love this casting. Honestly, I really love this casting. They do have the version where the back opens. And uh, it either has a sled inside or a couple of uh, bikes. And these are really, really... It's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous casting. Been around for a while. But just since it's got some big real estate, they use it mostly for convention cars or uh, used for... Um, Retro entertainment, uh, but this one is gorgeous. Wow, what a sweet piece this is. Very solid, gorgeous, beautiful paint. It's like a gunmetal gray. Thick uh, tires, uh, solid, solid metal base. I mean, this is just, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful mail away, this one. Look at that front end. Just gorgeous. GMC written in the front. Very, very big casting, but just a beauty. Okay, so that's for the medium... Well, medium. It's not medium. All premiums premium as far as I'm concerned. They're all beautiful premiums. And anyways, let's get into the little bit more expensive cars, guys. All right. I'm going to start off with the RLC. Very, very simple. We've got the new membership, Cowabunga. Okay, and this one looks really cool. Love the fact that it doesn't have the roof rack. Love the fact that it's just your... Standard Volkswagen Beetle. And that is what I like about this guy. Beautifully clean version with no extra bells and whistles. Okay. Show you the patch. There's the patch. And the button. Very cool. And the model. 
And it actually looks like the trunk kind of lines up and fits properly on this one. Let's take a look at that and see. Cracker open. This one is not numbered. It is the uh, club car, guys. It's your membership car. So, uh... Love this green. What a beautiful, beautiful green on here. This is an incredible green. I mean, it's even nicer out of the package, this green, guys. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful green. The front window, does it close? No, it doesn't. The front windshield is stable. So don't push down on it. I'm sure the trunk does open, though. But let's let it spin. It is sitting on white lined tires do have the metal base and there she goes wow that is a beautiful mirror finish on this gorgeous 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 green sweet version honestly fact that like I said, doesn't have the roof rack actually does impress me more. I like it without the roof rack. Hold on, can we get this open? Let's see if that back opens. It is a bit tough. There we go. We got it. There we go. And you show you the engine detail. There she is. A little bit of painted pieces here and there. Guess you really didn't get to see it that well, did you? How about that? How about like this? Not bad, eh? Not bad for Hot Wheels. Close that up. Yep. Very, very sweet piece. Love it. Love the Kawabaga. Okay, now let's stick with the RLCs because real riders, I believe, nobody's uh, giving me the uh, for sure on it, but in my books, actually I'll keep spinning you, in my books, the original real rider series here was the original RLC. It does say collectors.com here, so as far as I'm concerned, that's really basically what this was. And this 70 Plymouth Superbird was really one that I've been dying to add to the collection. Now, you think this green here is really nice on the Cowabunga. I'm betting the green on this guy right here is going to be incredible. Okay? Let's check it out and see. You know, it is from 2006, it says on this, uh, well, on the blister, on the protector pack, the guy that I bought it from did put 2006 on it. Let's check the date and see here. On the back, it does say, yeah, 2006, but that doesn't actually mean 2006. It could be 2007. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, oh I'm really so excited about this, guys. So excited about adding this one. Now, what I'm praying for is that it actually fits in my carny case. Because if I have to leave an RLC out of the any case, I'm not going to be happy about that. There's only one RLC that actually does not go in any cases whatsoever, and that is the RLC rocket fuel that I have from the Gulf. That does not fit anywhere. Nowhere. Doesn't matter what case you have. Does not fit. You have to customize a case especially for it. Now look at this green, guys. Look at this green. This is a mirror olive green you got a little road runner on the spoiler you got your plymouth superbird well it just says plymouth on the back goodyear real rider tires this one actually is on a plastic base which is a surprise for the weight 
It's on a plastic base. They did do the front in black. <coughs> Look how beautiful. What a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I'm so excited to have this one, guys. You know the feeling when you cross off a grail car on your list? It's just, it's a great feeling. And I'm loving it. I'm just hypnotized by this color, though. Honestly, the color is hypnotizing. Okay, two more cars to look at, guys, and we've dug through this pretty amazing haul of premiums, I would say. And we are going to start off with the two years ago convention, Nova, which I've been dying to add to the list. And I think that actually covers all the cars of that year convention. I, I think I have them all. This was the last one I needed to add. And it is a pretty cool piece. This piece, I believe, we've only had three times. I think it was Legends Tour. Uh, it was in a, either a Boulevard or a Team Transport, or maybe even both. So this casting is starting to get a bit of love. But it just came out. It's basically a brand new casting. It's, as we say, a year or two years old. So I think it's going to get a lot more love than that. There we go. Can I tell you guys I love convention cars? <laughs> Off to the side. Beauty. And here she is. Now, I love what they did with this car. Honestly, I love what they did. They did metal base, green trim all around the bottom and the front, and this beautiful blue paint with the white stripe. I mean, awesome, awesome livery and detail on this car. Just beautiful. Well, this one too, I don't know why I waited so long, but, you know, sometimes I just do that. I just wait too long for certain pieces. But that makes it more worth it when I get it, I think. What a beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Love the way the green trim looks. I mean, it just, it suits it really nicely. Well, the information of the show, it is right here on the back of the spoiler. What's your uh, convention information? And little pinstriping on the hood, which you can't really see when it's spinning, but it's there. Mag choice is awesome. Color even is great. Just a good looking car. Okay, one more convention car to look at, guys. Last one. And it is the 55 Bel Air Gasser from this year's convention in Atlanta, Georgia. I love, I love this Bel Air Gasser, guys. Uh, as I said, I'm now I'm only missing uh, two. I'm only missing two uh, to have the whole collection of the, the Chevy uh, Bel Air Gasser guys. And one is the candy cane car, which I've never cared about because, I mean, it is only an employee car. So it really wasn't, it wasn't a distributed Hot Wheels. It's just, uh, it was an employee party car. So, uh, you know, there's very, very limited amount of them. And 
just extremely hard to find. And I need the black RLC version with the Neo wheels. Neo, Neo wheels. And that's the only ones I need. I have all the other 55 Bel Air Gassers. And oh, I love this car. I just love it. Here she is. Okay. The convention car. Moon Eyes livery. All that engine detail is beautiful. Black base, metal. I mean, this is just sweet. And you have your convention detail right on the back of the trunk. Nice and subtle. I mean, that is just great. Beautifully done. Very simple, no spectral flame. You got a bit of a matte black roof with this beautiful, beautiful yellow paint. Just a beauty. So there you have it, guys. That is my latest haul. And, uh, you know, these are all pieces that I really wanted to add to the collection. So I'm very stoked about all these cars. So until next time, guys, be safe. Be well. Happy hunting, everybody. Ciao.